Yo, welcome back to Freedom in the Kingdom. I'm Marcus. Um, I legit just <laughs> I legit just recorded this whole video that I was trying to show you guys, share with you guys, and then my memory card ran out. So I'm just gonna go through this very briefly. So I don't want to be here running my mouth. I got to swear to God. Um, Almost, I'm already supposed to be there, but I felt like this was important to record this now and for you to get this information, all right? So, first of all, I'm gonna introduce these two books right here. It's Meet Your Straw Man or whatever you wanna know. It's on Amazon for five bucks. That's the cost of some cigarettes, a sack of weed, um, a black and mild, whatever. Just, just buy the book, okay? I don't have to explain it to you. If you're on this channel, it's because you want a deeper understanding of how the system works and you are probably part of the chosen few. So, also, get this book right here, The UCC Connection, How to Free Yourself for, From Legal Tyranny. Both of these books are $5, it's 10 bucks, right? And if you're here just because you're curious, you wanna pay your, uh, your bills with, a, with codes that the, the United States made, that uh, discharges your debt, cool, welcome. Or maybe you're just the police, but you can't do nothing about what's going on because everything that I'm saying is very legit and very legal, and it's been around for a very long time. All right, so, Spectrum sent me a bill, otherwise known as a coupon. All right, I'm not gonna go over the definitions of coupon, invoice, statement, or bond, okay? You look those words up on your own either by Webster's Dictionary or Black's Law Dictionary. You can look those things up on Google yourself. I'll make a video later on about those definitions and how to apply them to certain things. Specifically, the coupon process is what I'm gonna show you right now. Why's my camera moving? I'm not even moving it. Hello? Oh. Anyway, all right, so Spectrum sends me a bill. They send me a bill like this, right? It says on the piece of mail, right? It says, mail your payment using the attached remittance stub and return envelope. D are y'all listening to what it just, it just said? This is on the Spectrum bill, right? If you read it, a lot of people aren't su successful in life or they are dying, either spiritually, mentally, or physically because they are not applying or they don't understand or reading the knowledge that they need to know to, to, to live a abundant, prosperous life, right? The, the <laughs> Spectrum tells you Specifically, mail your payment using the attached. This was attached. Remit. This is a remittance stub, right? In the legal world, it's called a coupon. Attached remittance stub and return envelope. I don't know what return envelope is. It's somewhere in my living room, right? Then it says, please be aware the mail can take five to seven business days. Cool. Fun fact, right? It says it on the back of this book. Meet your straw man. It has a section where it says, facts, you may not know, okay? Very interesting section of the book, right? Let me turn to a page for you. Number 15 in this book, okay? I'm gonna read number 15. Just so you guys can see, and I'm not bluffing, okay? Your name when spelled in all capital letters is a corporation. A Sesta K Trust. Sesta K Trust, right? That's a French word for a, an account, a bank account, right? Your social security number is a bank account connected to a financial institution that the United States, which is also a corporation, uses right when you're born. Um, 
they put a certain amount of money in it that comes out of thin air, goes into your account, and they put you on the stock market or the fictitious part of you, which is your name spelled in capital letters, into the stock market, and they trade it for the rest of your life. And then you give you they give you access to a percentage of your funds after 65, AKA your retirement funds or social security check. Okay? I just wanna share another fun fact before I leave, uh, before I go into this. Um, <laughs> um, King George III of England finance both sides of the Revolutionary War. So if you're a big war buff, that's some information for you. I'm sure that just blew your mind. <laughs> Man, because it, it blew my mind when I first, I first read that too. But, um, all right, so look. I'll show you my name because my name is my name. Whatever, you can't do anything with my name. My middle name is right here. This is how they addressed me because that's how I opened my Spectrum account was with my middle name in my, in my last name. Still part of me, still my name, just use my middle name, okay? So you see how it's in capital letters? They're talking to not the soul, Marcus, but they're talking to the paper Marcus, okay? And the paper Marcus, as, you, if I, as I said, alluded to earlier from this book, Meet Your Straw Man, your name in capital letters is a corporation and your corporation is connected to a social security number social security number is connected to a SESTA-K trust okay so check me out there is a certain way that you can write and use this because remember I just read on this paper from Spectrum himself which I don't think they are actually understanding what they just put on here or maybe they did and they just said hey they're not gonna know what's going on just put it on there Right? Mail your payment using the attached remittance stub and return envelope. That's it. Bet. Got you. All right? So, let me uh, pull this up right here. Let me show you. All right, so look, check me out. I'm going to show you how to send this back to the company, okay? Can y'all see this? Is the picture clear enough for you? You picture me rolling? Check me out. Wow. Hope y'all can see that very well, okay? If not, I'll hold up to the camera. And close the mount, right? We're gonna put the amount that they're asking for. We're not gonna put past due amount. We're gonna put the total amount to be paid. So in close amount, you're gonna put one, two, or whatever amount that you have on the, on the bill. One, two, zero. My pen would stop working. Uh, remember guys, I mean, I'm pretty sure the color of the ink doesn't matter, but I, we're all adults now, okay? Especially if we're paying bills, just use a black pen. I don't know how serious it's gonna take you if you send it to them in purple ink or yellow or red. I, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I'm not I'm not I'm not planning to, so let me move this back a little bit. Alright, Bim. One two zero forty. Why is my pen doing this? I might have to put it on this book. One two zero point four two okay so you're going to put here right you're going to put in this open space right here everybody bills looks everybody's bills looks different okay this is a lot of space here this is like the second the second um, coupon they've sent me so it's a little bit emptier than the first one they sent me you're gonna put pay to the order of 
and then the company that you're that's sending you the bill. So in my case, this is gonna be Spectrum. I'm not, again, I'm not gonna go into these codes, but without due diligence, you're bound to fail. So even if I tell you every code that goes on this form, it's up to you to look it up and to understand what these codes and these laws mean, okay? So, you're gonna put, actually, let me finish this, right? So you're gonna put like you're writing a check. 100 and 20 dollars and it's 42 cents so 42 over a hundred that's how you would write it on the check of a personal check for a bank and this is how you would write it on this check from spectrum all right so um you're gonna put these codes on here UCC UCC stands for Uniform Commercial Code, which is what this book is about right here, the UCC connection, right? So you're gonna put UCC code 3-104, UCC code 3-603, And then you're gonna put HJR, which stands for House Joint Resolution 192, which is another law that was passed in 1933, right? Um, and then also you're gonna put UCC 1-308, UCC, 3-419, right? This one right here means without prejudice. That code right there means without prejudice. And that basically means that when you sign anything, especially when you get a traffic ticket, if you're in front of the police officer and he says, sign this right here, and you're like, no, I don't wanna sign it, right? Go ahead and sign it, but make sure that you put on anything that you sign, UCC-1-308 without prejudice, put those words, without prejudice, basically that means that they cannot enter you into a contract without your consent, without being intentional, without your knowledge, or, with, or, or without you volunteering to be in any type of contracts. So when you sign stuff, you put yourself into some types, sometimes invisible contracts, mostly all the time. So make sure you just, I'll explain it deeper in another video. For now, I just wanna keep this video very short and simple, okay? So on the other side, you put by accommodation. You should spell the word right. Accommodation. And you're gonna spell your name out, right? in a beneficiary way, which means you're gonna sign it just like this. First name, semicolon, middle name, I mean, first name, hyphen, middle name, semicolon, last name, and you're gonna put the words beneficiary because you are the beneficiary of the Cessna K Trust that they're pulling these funds out of. All right, so here we go. See that? And you're gonna put underneath that without recourse, which means the same thing as I said with the UCC code 31-308. It means the same thing as without prejudice, meaning you cannot enter me into a contract because you have my signature here.
right? Without my knowledge, without my consent, without it being volunteered, okay? So, you wanna put on the top, money order. And then you're gonna put memo. Account number. And you're gonna put the account number that it shows right here, usually on the top of your bill, okay? So I'm, my account number is 378-109-403. All right? Found. And that's it, all right? That's it. Actually, you, no, that's not it. <laughs> You're gonna, just like a regular check, you're gonna sign, turn it, turn it on the back, right? And you're gonna endorse the back of the check. Again, sign it with your beneficiary name, signature. First name, dash, middle name, semicolon, last. Right? Again, put just for safe measure, 1-308 without prejudice. There you have it. I should have actually signed that, like a signature. There we go, Marcus. There we go. As long as you sign it like that, that's all that matters, okay? I There's different ways to do this. I usually put my social security number below here, somewhere down here, or underneath here, right? I'm not gonna do it on camera because I don't wanna put my social security number on there. Um, but this is basically it, right? Put it back in their return envelope that they send you, put a stamp on it, send it back to them, okay? That's it. That's it, folks. So, if you have any questions, be feel free to drop some uh, questions in the comp in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. If you think somebody could benefit from this information? Uh, tag them in a the post. Uh, share the link to my my channel, and um, stay tuned for more content on how to live freedom in your kingdom. All right, peace and love.